There are a lot of unsung heroes at the Capitol. Legislative interns, security personnel, maintenance staff. But honestly, it's hard to find any group that's more important than these guys. You may not recognize them, but if they disappeared, it would be game over. Let's spend some time with the Capitol Pages. Pages are never hard to find. We're talking about these guys right here. The humble folks on the bench who distribute paperwork, copy bills, and generally tackle all the legwork our elected officials don't have the time to do themselves. And this isn't the only place they work. They're also in charge of preparing the committee rooms, distributing research materials, and moving any number of documents around the Capitol. Obviously, this makes for a busy day, which means that if you want to corner a page for an interview, you have to go to one of their secret hideouts. Places like this. This is the House Page Room, located in the basement of the State Office Building. When pages aren't out in the field, they come here and basically wait for the phone to ring. And when the phone does ring, it could lead to almost anything. An errand at the post office, a trip to the research library, or even a race to the hopper to introduce new legislation. The only things these rooms are missing are alarm bells and fire poles. Overall, these people work harder, stay later, and get paid less than almost anybody else in the building. And, to their added credit, with the possible exception to the members of the Senate, they maintain the most consistent dress code. In all honesty, it's hard to find anything wrong with these guys. They're like polite politicians that bring you snacks and don't bombard you with hyperbole. That's why it's kind of sad to take a hard look at the numbers. About a decade ago, there were over 40 pages serving the House of Representatives. But today, information technologies have streamlined the workflow, and the active roster has shrunk to just over 20. The people in charge don't think the program will ever go away completely, but it is hard to deny the trend. We're only a few years away from touch-sensitive conference tables, and that does spell trouble for a profession that's built around bleached fiber products. If you do cross paths with one of our possibly soon-to-be-extinct capital pages, be sure to thank them for their work. Then, tell them to get you a Coke. These people are going to be our bosses someday, so we might as well take advantage of them while we still can. That's all the time we have this week. Let us know what doesn't make sense, and we'll do our best to figure out how it happens.